everyone. Thanks for tuning into your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. So welcome to the channel. If you're new here, this is a pick a card reading channel. So I invite you to join the community by subscribing to the channel and leaving your stories in the comment section when the readings do resonate. Um, for those of you who are returning subscribers, um, welcome back. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for continuing to support the channel. So today's reading is messages from your person. So your love interest, your specific person, the, your person of interest, the one who's on your mind, what would they say to you if they had no fear and no filter? Okay, so um, we're going to draw a few you know, tarot cards and then messages from multiple message decks. There is no extended this week for this one. Um, so just choose using your intuition. I pulled some charms here for you guys to choose from. The one that came out for, for group one is the black swan. So that is for group one. The second one that came out is a charm that um, kind of looks like with those waves, the uh, symbol for Aquarius, but it also is a car or a, a charm that I associate, not a card, a charm that I associate with um, like Egypt or symbology from, from that region of the world and past lives. But just see what you think. And then for group three, you guys got the um, the clothespin okay so it's a clothespin so if you were to do people do this anymore hang their clothes out in the backyard on a sunny day uh, using a, a clothesline and clothespins well this is what you got that's what is um, for group three okay so positivity if you need more time remember just using your intuition to pick or you know pick however works for you um, you can watch one reading or all of them there is random.org linked down below if you have trouble picking um, it's a general reading it can't resonate for everyone but if you're drawn to a reading there's likely messages for you so just take what resonates and forget what doesn't and um, you can always decide to choose another group or also there are other readings like this one linked down below okay so we're gonna get started with group one welcome group one I hope you guys are doing well Thanks for tuning in to your reading. So think about your person, your love, inter love interest, when you came to the reading for. Angel Spirits and Guides, for everyone who tuned in for this reading, what would their person say if their person had no fear and no filter, please? Using the Mood Tarot deck. Just get a few tarot cards and then get into the messages. For those who have tuned in to group one... The magic boy, as it's called in this deck, that is the magician. We have got um, water sign energy at the back of the deck with the nine of cups. Air sign energy here with the uh, king of swords and more water sign energy with the noob of crybabies, okay? Or the page of cups, okay? So the situation is that your person is, I feel like your person's really focusing on their on their work. Your person could have a managerial position. Um, they could be a, a leader of some kind here, very strategic, intentional thinker, very interested in their ideas. Um, so that's, that's what their main focus is. So like if you're wondering what's on this person's mind, they're thinking about... Um, they're thinking about their work, how they have to perform at their job, whether they work in entertainment or not with that magician, they could, but not necessarily. It's more just about job performance and making that money and manifesting a new beginning, okay? Trying to turn some sort of vision into reality, but it's not all about work because we've got, you know, the Page of Cups here, which the Page of Cups tells us that, um, that this person is, they could be studying something and this could be a newer um, relationship. But um, either way, they're wanting to uh, offer you something, although it feels like emotionally they have little to offer. They have a little something to offer you. It's like deep down they have feelings for you. But it's, it's not a lot because they are focused on trying to turn some vision into reality. Okay?
Yeah, there is some sort of uncertainty regarding giving their heart, but they would like to extend something to you. It could be in the form of an affectionate message or an affectionate gesture, but it wouldn't be a very big um, offer that they could make right now for those reasons already discussed. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, let's get some cards out. Would group one's person say to group one if they had no fear no filter please a couple of cards oh it's too many Once a person had no fear, no filter, what would they say? They keep wanting to, with that air sign energy and that magician energy, they just want to steal the whole show. So, okay. Make it good, group one. Say what you need to say. Group one's person. Here we go. What if I'm not good enough for you? Okay, feeling like they don't have a whole lot to offer you. Maybe they do well for themselves financially. Maybe they do have abundance with that nine of cups. But when it comes to like what you need and what kind of a relationship that you might want from them or they think that you want from them, the type of relationship, there's something they feel that they're lacking. I think it's just they feel like they're lacking the ability to give you what you need and what you deserve or what you want. I wish I could take back the things I said that hurt you. Okay. So, and then this turned over as well. I'm afraid I missed my chance with you. person's been thinking a little bit too much about themselves it looks like or, or focusing on you know taking action towards towards their goals and uh, some of them have been too faced with you have been unreliable with you they've really been putting like their worldly concerns you know above this connection they do have a strong passion for you here, which is interesting because this king does not, um, he's not overly concerned with passion, right? He's concerned with um, worldly concerns, with his work, with his interests, with his ideas, um, with that nine of cups, with being his single power, having fun, doing his thing, you know? Some of you could be dealing with a DJ, I just got that. Um, but... With you, he does have passion. You know, try something you've never done before. So it's, yeah, yeah, like I was saying. <laughs> Thanks for it. Um, he's a type that usually is more in his head. And he's looking at having a new start with you as an opportunity to try something that he's never done before, like give his heart. Because usually he retreats. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. Like he retreats from the connection or from, you know, giving his heart fully. What else would group one's person say? They have no fear, no filter to group one. Your dreamy imagination about the bright future we could have pierces my heart and draws me to you. So you could be manifesting this person. Um, whether you're doing that intentionally, using like the law of assumption, law of attraction, or something else, candle magic, anything like that, fill in the blank, or unintentionally by daydreaming a lot about this person, or when you talk to them, maybe you've shared like, um, you know, what you're looking for in a partnership. Maybe you've shared some of your dreams or ideas, and this person, because the card says that you have a dreamy imagination, it's like they've some way, shape, or form picked up on your dreamy imagination, and that you feel like this is somebody that um, you can have a real future with. You could be um, this page of cups, okay? Um, you might not have even expressed directly to this person how you feel, but they just picked up on it. They observed something about you like underneath it all that you feel this way. So just take it how it resonates. But um, you touch this person's heart. 
and um, they're typically not someone whose heart gets touched very easily. Got these coming out. I'm willing to go all out to win your love and affection because I want a romance that ends with happily ever after. Yeah, this person is going to make you a romantic offer, okay? They're going to communicate with you. They want a positive change in this connection. Probably a new start in the connection or to really begin it if it hasn't really begun yet. You are my sanctuary. When we're together, I feel safe and carefree. So this person saying, you know, that that's part of the reason why you like you make it you make it feel safe for them to give them you know give of their heart because you know it's interesting with these very strong or seemingly strong individuals that we get frequently in readings and that we meet frequently in life you know if you're an empath you see them all the time um, and I'm an empath so they've got this stern exterior but underneath it's this shy vulnerability when it comes to their heart and their emotions and that something about you group one has made this person feel like it's safe to um, offer you their cup of love safe to safe to dream about romance and allow themselves to be drawn into a romance okay safe to allow themselves to explore their passion to do things differently to have a positive change where their romantic life is concerned you know and do things differently not only just make it all about <clears throat> how things look on paper or you know how uh, how many interests <laughs> okay or shared ideals or or you know I think you know what I'm trying to say this person's coming more from a heart-centered space with you and at the back of the deck we've got when we go out, we're going to have the absolute best time. I can't wait to show you off on social media too. So definitely wanting to go out with you. This looks like this person's gonna call you up or um, message you. Probably, I feel like it's gonna be a call or um, it might start off as a message, but then it quickly leads to um, getting together or, or talking on the phone and then going on a date because they wanna take you out on a date and they wanna show you off, okay? No, right. And then underneath that talks about, it makes me feel good to be the provider. Even if we're from different classes, this could work. So yeah, so I was saying that this person, there's some way or shape or form that you guys are different or maybe if maybe this person was like being judgmental of you or this connection, it's like Mr. Darcy vibes, you know, when he tells her that um, basically he's thought of every reason why he shouldn't be with her, but he just can't not be with her because he loves her. So that's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. Let's get some messages, some more messages. Even though they were from, you know, different classes and stuff like that, which that made a whole world of difference in the early 1800s, but not nowadays. But I feel like this person, like the card says, they wanted to be a good provider for you. And they still, like, that's why they focus so hard on their work. And they're trying to make something of themselves. I think they want to impress you as well just in case they're not good enough for you. It says, sweetheart, God was showing off when he made you. You are so beautiful and smart. Yeah, like you're you're beautiful and smart, right? You're, um, or if you're a man, you're handsome, you're good looking, right? This person um, feels you're beautiful and have a beautiful heart. They're just, they just love you. They just have a passion for you. They're just so attracted to you and they just like shy about it, but it's there. Yeah, you have such a good heart. You are way too good for me. Again, see here? yep you are way too good for me you make me want to be a better person please never stop being you that wanted to come out as well some of you guys have really good really good <laughs> really good hearts out there that watch my channel I have things left that I need to say and I say that because, um, I don't know, it seems like you guys do, just based on the readings. I'm ready to act. So this person, again, yeah, ready to act, ready to talk to you. They have things that they have left that they need to say. I miss you regardless of how things look on the outside. Definitely missing you. You are a goddess or a god, and the distance between us is killing me.
I'm trying to make a choice here. You are opening my eyes to how life could really look like. I dream about holding and kissing you. I am waiting to align with you. I'm sorry, I, I really do like you. So yeah, this person said or did something or they chose someone or something or their work over you, it looks like. Again, they were trying to stay in their head here, be, you know, do the logical thing, put their head before their heart. But now they're dreaming about kissing and holding you and you have opened their eyes to, to what life could really look like. Maybe they thought that this sort of thing wasn't meant for them and um, they're just waiting to align with you. one I feel you leaving me behind so there's still this fear though that you're leaving them behind or that um, they missed their chance with you but they're grateful for the spiritual lesson because you've opened their eyes to you know what their life could really look like I know I messed everything up and I hid who I really am f from you, and I look for you everywhere. Society really does a disservice when they make people feel like the only way to be uh, respectable is to, or the only acceptable way to be, especially for the masculines, is to be hard, cold, or emotionally unavailable. It's just... I won't get into it because it really pisses me off when I sit and think about it. Um, it's not right. Plain and simple, it's not right. So everybody suffers as a result of that ignorance. Okay, this one came out. My heart is telling me to just do it. Because they're following their heart. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm so glad. Uh, King of Swords is following his heart. If I knew then what I knew now, I would, would have made different choices. I'm reminded of you constantly. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. Okay. They're a little worried about, you know, what you might say to them. Some of you who have already kind of like expressed um, your displeasure with this person. Okay. You've already kind of let them know, let them have it. But others of you, um, they just are afraid of what you might say. And also they're getting some sort of karma for, for, um, saying hurtful things to you or for making the wrong choice. Or both, could be both, right? Um, let's get some cards here from the Romance Angels. If they had no fear, no filter, what would they say? Ah, uh, the reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. You guys have unfinished business. This person wants you back. If this isn't somebody from your past, then that message isn't for you. This person just, they want you back. For, for those of you in separation, if um, this is a newer person, this could be a reconciliation with a soulmate from a past life. At the back of the deck, we've got flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. They wanna flirt with you. I'm gonna just start with talking to you, flirting with you, keeping it lighthearted, you know. They're afraid that you're gonna <laughs> be angry with them, but they they miss you and they wanna talk to you. They wanna see you. They wanna get back together with you. They wanna reconcile. I've got a best friend. Friendship is vital to your romance. Feelings deepen and blossom. 
could be this person friend zoned you. Or just, you know, haven't taken you seriously yet. Or um, I feel like they've probably friend zoned you or something. Or you did that to them. But we've got this magnetism here. It's not because they weren't attracted to you, because they definitely are. Um, there is a gravitational pull to each other. They just feel like you know, very pulled to you. So if you are manifesting this person consciously, you guys, keep it up because it's working. <laughs> and, um, you know, either way, whether you are or you're not, you guys are pulled towards one another. Like just the way that you feel, especially if you really love this person, like you have a strong love in your heart for this person, they can feel that. And it's it's really pulling them in. But, but there's chemistry for sure. Burning desire, flames of passion ignite. So, yeah, they're definitely desiring you. They're wanting you. Flames of passion ignite. Um, holiday, enjoy a chance of, or a change of scenery to spice up your love life. They're wanting to go away with you. One of the fantasies that they have is taking you somewhere nice and going far away, just the two of you, and indulging in this passion, right? Um... Yeah, and then underneath that was benefit of the doubt. So I feel like some of you are really gonna have to give them the benefit of the doubt. Give this relationship a chance, you know. I, I think it's gonna be up to you whether or not you wanna entertain this. And, and it's gonna be up to you like how this person approaches you is gonna be, um, it's gonna be a big part of what you decide to do here with this person. Like if they don't approach you exactly right, um, then you know, you may not have this happy outcome or you guys might not be able to get back together um, or progress this connection forward and really come into the energy of that passionate soulmate relationship. But um, whether you know this person for a long time or you just met, you guys are going to start a new romance here for, for a lot of you. Okay. And or a new phase in the romance. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it really is. I think this person's going to be, I think it's going to, it's going to be fun. <laughs> so you guys are going to flirt. You're going to go out. You're going to have fun. They're going to take you out. They're going to show you off. You guys are going to go on trips together. This is looking beautiful. Just it means that you're going to need to extend them the benefit of the doubt. But um, from this spread, you guys, I mean, it looks like you're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be an adventure and it's going to be, um, it's going to be a sweet one. That's what I've got for you, Group 1. Thank you for tuning in. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate it. It's free and it does support the channel and keep it here. If you'd like a private reading, you can email me at lovetheoraclejragon at gmail.com or visit my website, theoraclejragon.com. Thanks to my patrons and Instagram followers. I'm going to try and get an Instagram reading up um, on Instagram this week just to let you guys know. And so this is what I got for you. Talk to you guys next time. Welcome group two. Thanks for tuning into your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. So go ahead and think about your person, the one that you came to the reading for. Angel spirits and guides for everyone who is tuned into group two. What would their person say to them if their person had no fear, no filter, please? For the strongest collective energy of everyone who is watching. Everyone who chose group two. Group two, we're just going to go ahead and lay out three tarot cards and then we'll get into your messages. Get a little overview real quick on your person and your connection. <clears throat> Using the mood tarot, by the way. Ooh. Wonder if your person is not trying to tell us the story here. We've got Karma's a Bitch. In this deck, it's called Karma's a Bitch. That is uh, the Justice card. And then we've got 
King of Wands. Wow. We've got the Emperor. And at the back of the deck, we've got the, um, you should see other guys. Interesting. Defensive energy. I think I just noticed that that card, um, the card means that or says that. But it does go along with it because it is about somebody being defensive, there being difficulties in the connection that need to be overcome. Somebody having their guards up to say the very least. So, let's look into it. All right. So the situation is one of, well, like the card says, it, somebody's gotten their karma here. Um, I feel like your person is, well, we got strong Aries energy here because it's fire sign and then we've got the Empress. You could be dealing with somebody that has that strong in their chart but doesn't have to. That's the strongest energy coming through or you could as well. Remember that energies can be vice versa in the tarot as well. But with justice, it's like, yeah, definitely the situation is like cause and effect. You could be seeing... Um, Like whatever is happening here, it's the result of past actions, okay? And I have to be honest with you, um, you know, for some of you, this person has moved away uh, emotionally or physically or both. And um, this is because of, I'm not sure exactly what it's become, but it has to do with, it could even be like past life karma, you know, between the two of you. Like this was just, this is something that was meant to happen, okay? So let's get... Yeah, this is kind of like, I don't know if, 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 this is, if this is your type or not, okay? Because this is the divine masculine energy on the one hand. But it's also somebody that's like a heartbreaker on the other hand. I feel like this person has, um, has broken your heart. do see this person this person here is are these the same person okay I feel like there are more than one there's more than one person here you could be seeing more than one person they could be seeing uh, more than one person if you're if you're into men or masculines then um, I feel like you're seeing more than one person Okay. And maybe that's what happened. Maybe you are seeing this more than one person because this person told you like on the nine of wands that you should see other people. Um, others of you, maybe that's what drove this person away is that you were seeing other person, other people. Maybe you felt like you were doing like giving them a taste of their own medicine. If they had done that to you or you were just trying to stand up or assert or make your point, but um, it's resulted in this person really just moving away from the situation. I don't see them gone for good, though. Let's get some messages. Like, both of these energies are similar. They're both bold leaders, powerful, charming, and courageous. They both can be bullies and have an ego problem um, when you know 
when they're in their shadow energy. Um, the emperor is typically older, but um, the king of wands, he's a more mature energy as well. Let me know in the comment section, you guys, if this if this is you, you have, you're have you seeing two different people. And just because they're masculine energies doesn't mean that they can't be females, but um, I'm just gonna read what I'm seeing in the cards. I see one person not budging, it's likely the viewer, and the other person taking action and moving. Oh God, I love you, but they love you, okay? Yeah, I didn't feel like this was over. So one of these individuals, if this is two individuals, the daddy one, they love you. Um, I, I, want, I want you to try and understand me. Yeah, dude, I'm trying to understand you. <laughs> I'm trying to understand this reading. It's interesting. You and I have unfinished business. So even if they've walked away, left you behind, they're, if, they're, if they've got their defenses up or if they ever told you, like, you should see other people or that they weren't, they weren't available or made you feel like, you, you know, they weren't available, they, um, they're not, this isn't, this isn't over. They're either, at the very least, is unfinished business. This person wants you to try to understand them. There's a lot of passion between the two of you. And unlike a lot of other readings, you could be quite similar. Like, this could even be, like, you and this is your person or vice versa. This is all fire and Libra energy, if I didn't say Libra already. What else would this person say to group two if they had no fear, no filter? Mastery, you've learned the spiritual lesson. And this is poking out as well. Interference and external party is intruding on this relationship. Yeah, so I feel like there was definitely some um, outside interference. I feel like you're both attractive people or you both have romantic options or you did and it just got kind of messy. And then, um, but the good thing is that you guys have learned like you're mastering. So with the karma card and the daddy card, we're seeing mastery of spiritual lessons, especially if this is your divine counterpart, but either way, this is a spiritual relationship like the majority of the readings that I do and this is about if anybody got their karma it was needed in order for somebody to learn their lesson and unfortunately for a lot of you it really was you it was you that needed to learn uh, a lesson and it was um, a slow lesson because I feel like some of you are very um, strong in your beliefs and very slow to change your mind okay now, if that sounds like your person, flip-flop it. It can go vice versa or just don't take the message. But I have to say it because that's coming out. Let's get some more messages from your person. Now, we're going to shuffle first. What would group two's person say to them if they had no fear, no filter? Got why wait? I've got the hots for you and the sex is fire. Let's move fast. Yeah, like... <laughs> I think you have been moving slow, guys. According to your person, either you've been slow to like give them what they want or to um, change your mind or come forward. There's something there, but they are very passionate about you. I think you're, I know that you're passionate about them as well. And they don't, they don't want to wait. They, they feel like it's, it's mad chemistry. You know, they, they want to move fast. It's very alignment with well, both of these kings, but especially the Aries energy. Aries energy is very impatient. And when they're older, they, they temper that, but there's always gonna be like a little niggling of it underneath. Um, if I worry about you too much, it's because I really care about you. Sometimes I drive myself crazy thinking about you. So this person has well, they're admitting that they care about you. They have lost sleep over you, thinking about you, overthinking on the situation. We've got the winky face. Is that from their person? That's from their guides, huh? 
I wonder. No, that's from your person. Um, when we're together, what we have fills me up so much. I want for nothing else. You complete me. Okay. So, um, you complete them. Like, that's the world energy. World is the best card in the deck. They're wanting to take this to the next level. You guys are finishing a cycle in order to start a new cycle. And I think this person wants to start that new cycle with you or at least, um, you know, talk to you and feel you out. See if you can understand them. Um, see, what, see how things go. Um, they definitely want to be intimate with you, physical with you. They're very attracted to you. Um, and you do fill this person up and make them feel really happy when you guys you know are together okay oh, let's see these cards here. Yeah, uh-huh. I was thinking monetarily. Okay, I can't invest fully in this relationship. This winky face has been sitting with me kind of funny since it came out. And I feel that it has to do with, it, it comes out on top of the emperor. So even though we think of the emperor as somebody who's got their shit together, they're well off financially, they're established in life, um, I actually don't get this with your person right now. I feel like that that they are um, down on their luck in some way, probably materially, or have experienced a financial loss. So it's like your your guides are winking at you about, oh, yeah, sure, he's the emperor, right? <laughs> we'll just let him think that because it makes him feel better. But he, um, he can't um, be the emperor to you right now because he can't invest fully in this relationship because something is going on with his finances. Um, then we've got the love I feel for you is patient and grand. I have never felt love like this before. Yeah, this is what drives this person crazy when they're just trying to overthink and make sense about this connection and the way they feel about you. Because it is new. It is not, not like anything that they've ever felt before. It's deep. And so they worry about it. You are making me long for a new beginning. And I am aware that I am ghosting you. I wish I could treat you better, but I am not fully ready. Yeah, because this person isn't quite the emperor they think they are. Okay? Underneath that we've got, I know I'm screwing everything up. So even though your person feels like you are taking a long time, they're being patient, or rather their ego is not being patient, but their love for you is being patient because they've never felt this way before and they're wanting a new, they're wanting a new beginning with you. So this person say this one's coming out I knew from the first time I saw you it's always been you I know you're my soulmate meeting you was written in the stars okay so um yeah, that does speak to the spiritual connection and, and the way that, you know, this is your divine counterpart likely because they knew from the start, you know, that you were special to them. They feel like you're, you are their soulmate, like they said, and maybe some of you are surprised. Maybe you're not to learn that this person, um, you know, has known, known from the start.
you were already on my mind when I woke up this morning. You inspire me, you are so strong, I dream of you. This person goes to bed at night worrying about you and this connection and if you can understand them or not and what how you guys are gonna handle this unfinished business and how are they gonna have this new beginning with you and how are they gonna get together with you physically like what are they gonna do about the outside interference if there is some and then they wake up or and then they go to sleep and they dream about you I still feel jealous over you I worry this is all in my head. I think that's where they start to feel like they're driving themselves crazy. And I feel like some of you also feel that way, actually. I'm getting that as well. I replay everything that happened in my mind. So they worry and they replay everything that happened between you guys over and over. They, they need to um, stop thinking so much, probably. I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late. Okay, and I'm losing hope. <clears throat> Got a couple. I wish I had treated you better. I'm afraid to contact you. I replay our conversations over and over. It's time for me to heal now. Yeah, there's something going on. This person's down on the luck. And they just, what are they thinking about when they're thinking about you? They're thinking sexy thoughts, yeah, but they're also thinking about whatever they did wrong and, and the interference in the relationship and the conflict or conflicts in the past. And like they just keep replaying what happened or your conversations over in, the, in their head, trying to figure out, and trying to make sense of it. And, and make sense of their own behavior for whatever they did when they say, I wish I had treated you better. And I feel like some of them, oh, you know what I'm getting from um, the color purple. That part is in the end where um, Celie puts her finger in, in, what's his name? Mister's face. Yeah, 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 yeah. She puts her, she puts her finger in Mister's face at the end. And she says, until you do right by me, everything you even think about is going to fail. And I feel like, I don't know if you said this to this person, thought this to this person, um, or what, but, um, I think this person's failing or they're flailing at least. And it's to do with the karma from the way that they treated you. And if that, if you don't feel like that's the case, I think some of you know that's the case, but if, if you didn't, um, they think that, some of them think that way. And at the very least, they know that this is a missed opportunity because you are an angel. You were an angel to them. And then they ghosted or ran away or did whatever it is they did. I can still feel you. I got spooked. Back of the deck, lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. So some of them got caught in a lie, apparently. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So a lot of you are in separation. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So I think even though this person is kind of like sitting on their ass over analyzing everything, they, um, 
I think they're using like the law of attraction on you, honestly. They feel a telepathic connection to you. Like if this is true soulmate relationship, then you know that you guys can, like this person said, they can still feel you. Or maybe this person's just got a natural ability or knack for that. And through that connection, that 5D connection, that spiritual connection, I feel like they're pulling on you or trying to attract, they're definitely trying to attract you, but without actually getting up and picking up the damn phone or going to your house and like doing the things that are necessary to make things better or to fix things. And if they are doing that, congratulations, but I don't, I'm not getting that strongly, okay? And then um, we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So it's probably that this person made you feel like this was a one-sided connection. They got spooked, ran away, that left you feeling it was all in your head or something. Like, you know, if somebody leaves you behind, that automatically makes you think that, you know, it must have been your fault or that they didn't care about you. But the truth is, they've always known it's it. They've always known it was you, and they've always had feelings and love for you. They just, um, they just weren't ready. Okay. I think they're just too in their ego. Maybe dealing even with some narcissistic tendencies inside themselves. Group two, what would their person say if they had no fear, no filter? Workplace romance, common cause connection. So maybe you guys work together. Um, if not, this is a, there's a common cause that you guys um, share. That could have been what the outside interference was too. But I definitely get that um, work has to do with this person um, and what they're going through right now. Like they're on, they're going through some sort of um, hard time. It looks like it's work related to the material plan, like work and money, home perhaps. You are worthy. Your worth doesn't depend on the other person. Like this person wants you to know because they know that they hurt you. Um, yeah, by ghosting, moving away. Maybe they thought you would follow, but you didn't budge. However they hurt you, they just want you to know that, you know, you are worthy and they don't want you to doubt your worth because of them. And, uh, they want you to know that your worth does not depend on anybody else, including them, okay? Open your heart. Love is the highest energy of all. Let it in. I get that this person, whatever they're going through, it could be an ego death or a dark night of the soul. And that's their karma, in part for how they treated you. For some, it could be the whole reason why they're going through it. But, um... This is happening to open their heart. They're having a heart awakening. They need to be kind of slapped around by the, by the universe, a.k.a. Their, their subconscious mind, their God self, to let them know that love is the highest energy of all. You got to let that in. You got to let that in, son. You got to let that in. Um, love language, quality time. Be the witness to each other's lives. If this person wants to spend quality time with you, they want to be there for you. They don't want to run away. They want to be the witness to your life and you to be the witness to their life. And then at the back of the deck, we've got Proposal. Your romance is about to level up. So they're going to take action or they're planning on doing something. They're planning on um, taking some sort of an action eventually, okay? Something is going to happen. They're trying to um, manifest you back into their life. And, uh, and if they're doing that right, they're going to get the urge to take inspired action. And that, that'll just happen naturally. And things will un start unfolding in this connection. And if you're doing that, you know, then do that. And just know that things are going to start unfolding in this connection. 
um, and there is going to be a proposal here because this person sees you as um, somebody worthwhile and somebody worth proposing to whether that's to propose marriage down the line which I don't I definitely think this is on this person's mind but I think they're worried about it like they have worries just in general depending on what you guys are going through in the connection but this is on their mind they thought of it uh, or just proposing like a date or some sort of a fix to the connection okay they're wanting um they're wanting to fix things quickly <laughs> they're really wanting to fix things quickly but don't let this person rush you but do um i mean i'd be open to this if you felt if you felt intuitively intuitively guided to be because um i'm just getting that feeling like i should tell you that okay so this is what i've got you got for you group two thank you for watching i appreciate you guys please hit that like button and subscribe it does support the channel and it's free i appreciate you um, and comment down below if this was your reading. I'd love to hear it. And if you'd like a private reading, you can email me at lovetheoracledragon at gmail.com or visit my website, theoracledragon.com. And um, there's no extended for this one. And I will just talk to you guys next time. Welcome, group three. Thanks for tuning into your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. So go ahead and think about your person, your love interest, the one that you came to the reading for. I'm going to get three tarot cards to start. Take a look at your guys' situation, and then we'll get messages from multiple message decks. I'm using the Mood Tarot today. So. We've got two of wands. I've got two of cups. And you've got the star. <clears throat> Excuse me, at the back of the deck we have the death card. Okay. So apparently there's been an ending in this connection or this connection is going through a transformation. Um, and as far as signs go, we have, uh, we have fire signs, water signs, and Aquarius energy. So, yeah. So at present, it looks like somebody's feeling anxiety about making a decision to take action. Uh, also, I'm seeing longing for what one does not have. Definitely getting that this is your person, okay? Yeah, this is your person. The person is missing you. They're missing hanging out with you, spending time with you. Um, I don't know if you guys are in separation or you're at a distance or things have like calmed down to where it used to be a lot more fun because you guys used to have a lot of fun together is what I'm getting you guys could have started off as friends and like everything was great maybe things changed when you became a couple but um, just take what resonates now this is the end of energy of a partnership so some of you watching are actually with this person but others of you are um, are not because it's like this person or you could maybe not be available. I'm getting for some of you that your person is, um, they work a lot, okay? They could be an expert in their field. They could be a really smart individual. And so maybe they're just not prepared to make a romantic commitment because they're focused on other things, right? focus maybe on their job or if this is a third party they're focused on that okay but let me turn this off sorry guys I didn't realize that was still on okay Let's get some messages and see what else comes out here. I 
because I know what I think with the star card, but I just want to see what the messages say before I mention it. Yeah. Okay. So let's get the um, cards out. So if group three's person had no fear and no filter, what would they say to group three? I do feel like more of you watching are single <clears throat> than not. So this two of cups is like this person with someone else. Some of them could even be married and or um, they're wanting to you know, fix something with you, okay? this person say to group three if they had no fear no filter I'm in love with you and it scares me I feel remorse for mistreating you I think that came out in group one or two as well yeah so there's something they need to there there's a recovery or something that needs to be fixed um I've been trying to bury my feelings for you. I think this person works a lot, and part of that is because they're trying to bury their feelings for you. They just want to leave the past in the past. They don't want to think about whatever mistreatment they dealt you or whatever difficulties you two are currently having. support lean on your inner circle during this time so this person is wanting you to um, oh, they're hoping that you have support they care about you they want you to have support especially since you're likely separated or um, maybe there's interference in this connection an external party is intruding is intruding on the relationship whether that's work or family money or another person <clears throat> they definitely are concerned you know as to whether or not you have enough support I think it's talking about like financially as well they want to know that you're okay and they probably keep an eye on you and try to see you know how you're doing I miss the way you kiss me and I long to hold you loosen your grip but don't let go so this person is asking you to give them space if you already are they want you to keep doing that but they definitely do not they definitely do not want um, you to let go okay at the back of the deck we've got you're the one I want to be with I choose you so they're trying to tell you that you know they choose you um, over whatever it is like ultimately they're gonna choose you or they have chosen you because this just flew out it says I absolutely cannot resist the, the strong sexual attraction I feel for you. I'm definitely feeling passionately about you with that two of two of wands, and it is part of you know the reason why they feel anxious about making the decision to move towards you, to travel towards you. Maybe they don't think they'll be able to control themselves. Okay, yeah, and then all the cards flew everywhere when I said that. This came out in the same position for group two, so I don't know how similar these are. It could This could be a continuation of group two. But um, anyway, this card says, if I worry about you too much, it's because I really care about you. Sometimes I drive myself crazy thinking about you. Yeah, they're thinking about you and what it would be like to be in a relationship with you or what it was like. Um, this also turned over. It says, I feel like you intuitively know how I feel better than better than I do. Your psychic skills fascinate me. So, um, yeah, some of you, this is, we got a bunch of these cards, like I said, they exploded. I can see us growing old together. You already feel so familiar to me. It feels like a soulmate type relationship, which the majority of the readings I do on this channel tend to be. So this is, um, at the very least, you know, this person 
seeing you, you know, as somebody that is in their future, right? Because the the star card is, um, you know, it, it represents Aquarius. And Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. And Uranus is about, um, it's about the future and ideals and relationships as well. But um, it's about the future. So they're seeing you as um, ahead of your time, really. Especially if you can really read people's minds. Maybe you're a reader as well. Um, or you just are very intuitive. Or you are really intuitive with this person. Like They feel like you understand their emotions, like the card says, more and better than they do. Maybe you're just a very good, um, empathetic person. You're a humanitarian, perhaps, or an empath. but maybe you're, Or maybe you're just like that with this person, they feel. And for that reason, I feel like it's strongly linked to, the, to this one. They, they want to grow old with you. They can see you guys growing old together. You feel like family to them because you get them. Like, I feel like not a lot of people get this person. Even if they are with someone else. Even if they're really close to other people. Besides you, the, you really are the only one that gets them. Because they just try to bear their feelings. And, and you're like, whatever. <laughs> you, don't, you don't sweat it. Right? You just um, understand this person. Okay, so let's get some more cards. Some of you really are very gentle and open-hearted, open-minded. Spirit is just wanting to come through with the message just to not wear rose-colored rose glasses with this person, to, to see them, you know, for who they really are, okay? Both, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, you're, you're perfectly capable of loving somebody in their entirety. And, you know, I just get that somebody out there needs to hear that because they put, put people up on a pedestal, people that they love, and... Um, I just think you're a freely like giving some of you are really giving people and, and you know that's definitely not a bad thing but um, you know you shouldn't you know focus on I mean you shouldn't make a mountain out of a molehill either but don't just don't wear strictly rose colored glasses when it comes to this person um, especially if they got like really big faults and you know that um, if it's just little petty little things, then don't worry about that. Just enjoy the relationship when it happens or if it's happening. We've got, I'm afraid of hurting you. Yeah, because you are such a sweetheart. I do miss you. I do miss you too, it says. I'm so lonely. I do think this person is lonely. Wow. I have self-esteem issues. Sorry if that interferes with my actions. So maybe that is the outside interference, their own self-esteem issues. Keeping people away because they don't want to get hurt again. Or they're afraid of getting hurt. Meanwhile, they're missing you because you're like the only one that... Like the Phil Collins song, you're the only one who really knows... You're the only one who really knew me at all. Take a look at me now. There's just an empty space, but you coming back to me feels against all odds. But there's a chance I've got to take. So, wow, guys. You're breaking my heart, Group 3's person. Why are you like this? All right. It must be in the collective energy, huh? Whenever my phone vibrates, I hope you're the reason for it. You are beautiful inside and out. I love to stare at you. I love your smile. So this person could be watching your social media or however they can look at you. They're watching you, missing you. And one of the things that they love about you is your smile. But it just, it's more than just a physical attraction. They think you're beautiful inside and out, which is a very high compliment. 
I love that actually. I am haunted by us. I worry this is all in my head. Because yeah, I think you, when you're thinking about this person, they're thinking about you. When you're feeling some kind of way about this person, they're feeling the same. And it's like, they're not sure if it's coming from you, them, or if this is real or not. It's like, I think they know it's real, but they do worry. I just think they tend to worry anyway when it comes to their heart. But they dream of being reckless. They dream of just saying to hell with it and let the chips fall where they may and just let me come towards group three because it's always been you. It's always been you, group three. Back of the deck, no one knows I still think of you. Cards are mixed up. <laughs> All right. It was my fault, but I blamed you. This person doesn't want to let you go. I think they've tried. I'm, I'm fairly certain this person has tried to move on from you or tried to convince themselves they need to let you go. They can't. They don't want to. Uh, I feel you leaving me behind, and they don't want you to let them go either. I, I want I want to feel that way again, the way that you, the way that you made them feel, right? We've got, you and I were too young, so you guys, whether you were too young or just not ready, they just felt like they were not, you guys were not ready, it wasn't the right time. It was the right people, but the not, it was not the right time, and I want you. Lying was just easier for me than telling the truth. I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusions. So maybe they, you know, lied to you about the way that they feel about you. Made you feel like this was more one-sided or that it was just a physical connection or attraction. Whatever it is, though, they're, they're apparently, for a lot of you that that resonates with, they were dishonest, they lied to you, and they also just, they know that you're right about something, and they don't want to admit that you're right. So maybe an argument, it could be as simple as that. You guys are arguing, and then they denied that you, that you had a point, denied your point, didn't want to admit that you were right. But here they're saying that, um, you know, they're taking responsibility, right? They said they blamed you, and now they're saying it's, you know, they admit it was their fault and all of this. Um, also, we've got no one compares to you. And I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. So those signs are because you guys are connected and feeling each other's energy, even if you're apart. And it's manifesting. It's also just coming from this person's own subconscious mind, which wants them to snap out of it and um, own their feelings. You can only bottle things up for so long before that cap pops off and the bottle explodes. Oh. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Some of you really are calling in this person. Worth waiting for because you feel like in divine timing, you guys will be together. Some of you really feel that. You really believe that. So whatever you're doing, your prayers, affirmations, visualization, just know that it is helping to bring you together. Like this person is getting signs about you. 
and it's likely because of the energy work that you're doing through law of attraction law of assumption or just by persistently consistently feeling this person and thinking about them just make sure that you keep your thoughts oriented towards the future towards fixing the connection if it needs fixed towards solution towards what you want to see what you love about them so that you can get more of that okay not a lot of just picking the same old um, emotional wounds over and over again because you don't want to repeat that in the future with them you just want to um you know if you're not doing these things it could be no good idea to start doing prayers and affirmations and visualizations of the things that I just that I just said in order to get the outcome that you really desire here and then this card is saying worth, worth waiting for um, maybe some of you are not thinking about like maybe you don't think that this is worth waiting for anymore maybe you don't um, know that you can work this out with this person but for a lot of you actually can so even if this person has been you know, uh, mean or emotionally manipulative or, or distant. And I would never encourage anybody to be with anybody that was deliberately mean or cruel or abusive to them. And I'm not doing that now. I'm just saying that whatever, for a lot of you, whatever the uh, problem was, likely just like emotional unavailability and insecurity and low self-esteem, as long as this person is working through their issues, maybe they're getting counseling, maybe they will. I mean, there are solutions that you can manifest or that can happen. There are things that you can do together and as individuals to um, work things out if you want to. You know, for, for this card to come out, I feel like, um, well, for one thing, your person wants you to know that they are worth waiting for. Like they're telling you to wait for them, but that is entirely up to you if that's what you wanna do. And that doesn't mean just sitting around mourning over this person. It means, you know, taking care of yourself, loving yourself, and all of those things, okay? In the meantime. Because um, how you feel about yourself gets pushed out and reflected back to you from the people in your life, especially the, pe the people closest to you. Just remember that. Keep that in mind. And finally, what else does this person want to say to group three? They had no fear, no filter, please. That's parting words from group three's person. It's final parting words. We've got time apart. This is a time of separation. Dreams come true. Have faith your rainbow will come sailing through. Or come smiling through. Is that what it says? <laughs> Have faith your rainbow will come smiling through. This is like, even though you guys, you know, are apart emotionally or physically, you guys are in separation, this, this card is saying that, your person is saying that, even though that you guys are apart, or this person's been emotionally unavailable to you, that um, they feel that your dreams can come true together. If you both have faith that, um, that, that, things can, that things can be beautiful here. We've got guided steps to great love. Follow the path of ascension. So they just want you to take the steps that you're guided to take. They feel like, you know, they're getting signs. So, you know, apparently they think that you're getting signs as well. They want you to follow those signs because they do feel like this is a great love, that there are real feelings between the two of you. You share romantic feelings worth exploring. And um, they're admitting to having worn a disguise. Some elements of this relationship are hidden, that they were deceptive but they still want to rekindle this connection and old flame returns. So I do feel like you guys want this. I do feel that for the majority of you that this is resonating with, that you do want to reconcile with this person and rekindle this friendship or, or maybe it'll start off as friends and then evolve or rekindle this relationship and start a new happier phase together. And it looks like it's something that you guys are both wanting and both working towards. So I am sending you like lots of love and best wishes with that. 
and I intend it goes well for you, okay? This is what I've got for you, Group 3. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button and subscribe. It supports the channel and it's free. I would appreciate that. And if you'd like a private reading, you can email me at lovetheoracledragon at gmail.com or visit my website, theoracledragon.com. And thanks to my patrons. And if you would like to comment in the comment section, I'd love to read it, especially if this did resonate with you. And I will talk to you guys next time.